Gentleman reserves, gentlelady from Michigan is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And to use that logic, well, then all those people should have just said sorry and we'd move on, right? But no, we don't do that. And let me tell you, I, I take a little bit of offense to what the hell is wrong with me. I'll tell you, there's nothing wrong with me. I took an oath to defend the Constitution, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Again, I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm going to hold the Constitution, and it's very simple. We really shouldn't even have this debate. If you break the law and you follow due process, there are consequences to your actions, even if you say sorry. So we can try all of the diversion tactics that we would like. It doesn't change the fact that someone broke the law and that someone should be held accountable. It is disappointing, Mr. Speaker, that their own party can't hold them accountable, that they have such hypocrisy. So with that, I yield two minutes to my friend from New York, Nicole Meliotakis. Gentlelady is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, 